All right. <clears throat> so today we're talking about punctuation. Punctuation is marks in our story or letter or any other writing we do that's different from words and letters, okay? Authors use punctuation to tell us when the sentence is ending. Please turn off, do not use your chat, my friend, thank you. Um, we also use punctuation marks to tell you what kind of sentence it is so that you know how to read it in your head, okay? Because if everybody read like this, it would be very boring and all kinds of books would never get read, right? Nobody wants to listen to a story like that. Punctuation helps us read stories with feeling and expression. That's why the really good books that get turned into movies are good because the characters are expressing themselves in the way that the story was written. So we've got three ending punctuations we're gonna focus on today. Our first one is a period. It's that little dot that comes at the end of a sentence. A period ends our sentence. It's a telling sentence. So it's telling us something that's just sharing information. It's a statement. So I have an example. James ate his dinner quietly. There's a period at the end of that sentence. I'm telling you James ate his dinner and he ate it quietly. There's no aliens, there's no dinosaurs. He's not asking questions. I'm just telling you a statement. I'm telling you a fact in the story, okay? That's a period. An exclamation mark is the line with the dot underneath it. It ends our sentences but it shows really big emotions. It can show something being scary. It can show fear. It can sh show anger. It can show joy or hurt or surprise. It's those big emotions, okay? We almost ate the whole pie. There's an exclamation point at the end of that sentence because it shows a big emotion. They're surprised they almost ate the whole pie. They're shocked. Oh my goodness, we almost ate the whole thing, okay? That's an exclamation mark. It makes your story exciting. It shows excitement or anger or fear. And the last ending punctuation we have, let me get my computer situated, is the question mark. It ends our sentence and it asks a question. What will our heroes do next? That is a question. It's a sentence that you're asking your reader to think about, and it's got the question mark at the end of it, okay? So you've got three types of ending punctuation. There are more types of punctuation that go into in the sentences, and we'll talk about those later. But this week, I want you to focus on when you're writing your letter, to your grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whoever you're writing it to, or your pen pal, when you've got a sentence, you end it. You remember the punctuation mark. My name is Astrid, period. I flew on a rocket ship to Mars, exclamation mark. Have you been to Mars? Question mark. You're changing your tone and your writing and that punctuation mark's gonna help you with that, okay? So we have our practice page for our ending punctuation. We have some sentences that need a mark at the end. We need some sort of punctuation at the end. So it says complete each sentence with the correct punctuation. Each answer will be one of the following and it's either an exclamation mark, big emotion, a period, I'm just telling you something, or I'm asking you a question and using a question mark, okay? So we're gonna do number one together. So find number one. It says, Kyle loves to help his dad cook dinner. Am I showing a big emotion with that? No, not really. 
am I asking you a question? Kyle loves to help his dad cook dinner. No, that's not a question. So the ending punctuation for number one, I'm just telling you something is going to be a period. A period is going to be what I use to just tell you something. I'm gonna tell you a fact or I'm gonna tell you information. There's no big emotion. I'm not asking a question. Number two says, what do you think Kyle and his dad will cook tonight? What do you think? Hmm, that's a clue. Am I showing big emotion? Am I angry or joyful or shocked or happy or hurt? No, not really. Am I just telling you something? No, because I have the words, what? What is a question word? So that means this sentence, what do you think Kyle and his dad will cook tonight? Has a question mark at the end of it. And there's your question mark. So that sentence is a question. It's asking you to think about what they might cook. Maybe they'll cook spaghetti, maybe tacos, maybe hamburgers. I don't know. It's a question. We're gonna do number three together. Here we go. Oh no, Jean yelled. Why didn't you tell me I'm late? Ooh, we have two punctuation marks. The first one, oh no, Jean yelled. If you yell, are you being very calm? No, if you're yelling, you're showing big emotion. Oh no, Jean yelled. That oh no gets an exclamation mark. If it says the person yelled or screamed or shouted, we do that when we're showing big emotion. Maybe we're super happy or we're excited or we're angry. It sounds like Jean's a little bit angry in this one. That's a big emotion. Okay, so, oh no, exclamation mark, Jean yelled. The second part of the sentence is, why didn't you tell me I'm late? That's not a statement because I have why in word. Please make sure you don't touch your computer keyboard. Thank you. Why, what is a question word? Why, why didn't you tell me I'm late? That's a question. So we've done number one, two, and three together. I'm going to read the sentences for the next six. You go ahead and figure out what you think that punctuation mark could be and you do it on your own. Number four, would you like to play tennis with me? Number five, please close the door. Number six, Jeremy won the game and shouted hooray. Number seven says, let's go to the park and have a picnic tomorrow. Number eight is, ouch, the stove is hot. Number nine, do you have any money left in your pocket? And number 10, I stayed up past midnight reading the book. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna read those sentences and figure out Am I just telling you something? Am I asking something where I want an answer? Or am I showing a big emotion? All right, I am going to stop recording.